What's up, Makeup Minions? I'm Kim Witty from Witty Artistry, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, please hit the subscribe button below to become part of my family. And uh, don't forget to hit the little bell so you don't miss any new videos. Apparently that's the bell sound. <laughs> we are kicking off fall right now with Halloween makeup tutorials, starting off with The Nun, as that comes out at the beginning of September, and it is super creepy looking, so let's begin. If you like me and like my videos, it would mean the world to me if you became a sponsor on my Patreon page. I'm going to make my face look all grungy and dead by using Mehron Clown White, so this is a cream makeup. Make sure you leave the, oh, I didn't, don't, mm. Hold on guys, we gotta block out our eyebrows for this character. So with a washable glue stick, oof, I could get the lid off, jeez. I am going to block out my brows. So I'm putting the glue all over both sides of my hair. It really makes her saturated. And then brush them upwards and outwards. Really separate the hair. Same to the other side while that side dries. I sort of look like some weird Vulcan. Okay, where were we? So when I am, I keep saying the word so a lot. Anyway, with the white makeup, I'm going to be avoiding the eye area and the mouth area because she has like super nasty, deep, dark, foreboding eye sockets and a mouth that looks like she bit into like a carcass. So we're gonna avoid those areas because we'll be filling them in with black later. So why waste the white paint, you know? Yes, be amazed. All the white paint. I haven't covered my face in cream makeup since my jigsaw makeup last year. Gonna add in a little bit of grunginess with this black cream makeup by Ben Nye. I'm just gonna stipple it around in a couple of areas just to break up the color and the texture and make it look more undead. Then to get rid of the very obvious sponge texture on my face, I am going to go over it again with white. There! As you can see, it is blended together to make it look more decayed and grungy and just breaks up the texture a little bit. I'm now going to do a little bit of contouring with a fluffy brush and just some black eyeshadow. This is from my BH Cosmetics 120 color eyeshadow palette. The Nun has a very bumpy nose that has like a strange shape, so I'm going to imitate that with light contouring like it did around my mouth. Now I'm going to use black body paint to paint around my eyes and my mouth. I am going to be painting the creepy green eyeballs over my eyelids, so I'm leaving a space to do that. but I'm going to paint my eyes on with a mixture of this bright green and this bright yellow. Okay, the irises now have some color variation as you can see. So I'm going to be doing the pupils next and the outlines. <laughs> My eyes shut, that's super creepy. <laughs> Time for the pupils. I'm using the butt of the brush to make a perfect little circle. There, creepy eyes. Going to powder my eye socket area with this black eyeshadow from Urban Decay Smoke Palette. It's just to prevent cracking and just to make it look even darker than it already is. Going back to my BH Cosmetics 120 color eyeshadow palette with that gray, I'm going to make myself have angry lines. With the black cream makeup, I'm going to feather the edges of my eye sockets and my mouth, make it look super grungy and smeared. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I am having Heath Ledger Joker flashbacks like hardcore. This looks super cool though. The nun has these sort of black gross veins that spiderweb out from all these black holes, so I'm gonna add that now with a detail brush. I'm going to keep them kind of light, and if I wanna make them darker, I'll go over them again. The white base of my face is cream makeup, so in order for it to not be sticky and to like crease, you do have to powder it. <laughs> totally just launched powder all over the mirror. Look at it! Terrible. I'm a terrible person. So I'm going to lightly powder the makeup to not change the color too much, but just to set it. The nun has these horrifying, creepy fangs, so you're gonna need some fangs. I have dental distortions in the fangs gremlin that I'm going to pop in. Now it's time to pop on a costume. You can either go buy one, you can make one, or for the sake of photos, you can find whatever you have lying around the house. And this is the final look. This is just made out of a couple of bed sheets, just carefully tied together. Oh, hello there. You must like Halloween as much as I do to stick around all the way to the end. So, this is just the beginning of the Halloween madness that is to come, but I want to say thank you so much to my awesome Patreon producers, Bradley Shear, John Huckaba, James Halderson, Dan Tastic, and Benjamin Sorgatz. Without you guys, I couldn't make makeups like this, so thank you so much, and thank you all of you who just watch and comment. You guys make my day, you make my week, you make my life. I love you guys. So I will see you guys next Saturday for another Halloween epic makeup thing. Bye.